everyone, what's up? My name is Joss and welcome back to my channel Squibbles Reads. So if you have been with me for a while, you will know that I have never ever done a book unhaul on my channel. I have unhauled books before. I like to do like a cull of my bookshelves probably about every four to six months, but I've never actually sat down to film a video of me telling you guys what books I am getting rid of. So today, because I have purchased a bunch of books off of Book Outlet and there is also a huge book sale that is near me very soon and this is a really special book sale to me for a number of reasons, but I will be acquiring a whole bunch of books in the near future, so I decided that this would be the perfect time to get rid of a bunch of books. A lot of the books today I'm not going to tell you guys a ton about because they've either just been on my shelves for a long time and I've lost interest in them, or I've read them and I gave them like between two to three stars. 2.5 to 3 is a pretty decent rating for me, but I just have no interest in picking them up again and thus I don't want to keep them on my shelves. There is one book that I gave four stars, but I got a duplicate, so I I don't need to be keeping this copy as well. And of course there are several books that I just did not like and I will tell you guys why I didn't like those books and why I will be getting rid of them. So I've kind of organized this unhaul into all those different separate piles. And without any further ado, let's get started. So why don't we start off a little bit mellow. So I'll let you guys know what books I read out of all these ones and enjoyed. First off we have The Terranauts by T.C. Boyle. I actually got an arc of this at BEA 2016 and this came in my news monthly box so I don't need to be keeping both of those. Then we have two thrillers with the same detective and these are pretty standard mystery novels and this is The House That Jack Built and also The Scream of the Butterfly by Jakob Melander. Next is a book that I gave two to two and a half stars. This is Fierce Kingdom by Jen Phillips. I got this from my book of the month box. This is about a mom and a boy who are trapped in a zoo after hours. They're in a very dangerous situation. They can't get out. It wasn't executed brilliantly even though the premise sounds great. It just didn't live up to its potential. Also sadly another book that didn't live up to its potential was Final Girls by Riley Sager. These characters just weren't fleshed out very well as much as I enjoyed the plot, as much as it was kind of like a fun slasher movie. I don't remember any of these characters and I don't want to be picking this up again. Next I have three books in a series. This is the, I think it's called the I Hunt Killer series by Barry Liga. I read the first one of these books with my husband um, but I never continued on with the series and now I just have kind of lost interest in them even though I kind of did like the first one. Next there are a couple books from a Nordic Noir series. The series is by Ragnar Jonasson. I have Snowblind and I also have Nightblind. I did actually really enjoy these. So if you guys are in the mood for Nordic Noir, these are actually pretty good. I like the detective. I just don't really feel like picking them up again. I enjoyed them once and don't want to enjoy them again. Next up we have some books from my past and this is Bridget Jones's Diary and Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason. Again, both books that I really enjoyed. I enjoyed both of these movies as well. I just don't really feel like keeping them on my shelf. And this is a book that was turned into a musical or a musical that turned into a book. I don't even know which way, which is really terrible of me. But this is Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I liked the musical significantly better than I liked the book. And we have Security by Gina Wolsdorf. I originally gave this like three and a half stars, but the more I think about this book, I think the rating gets lower and and lower because it's kind of like a slasher movie but the writing really wasn't all that great. Another book from my past, this is a adult contemporary book. It's pretty bland. I just kind of read it one day when I was on vacation I think. This is 800 Grapes by Laura Dave. Then another one from my book of the month box. This is Eat Only When You're Hungry by Lindsay Hunter. I think I gave this one 3.75 stars. It's really great. It follows a man in his 50s and he is going off to find his son. There's some discussion about body image in males. There's some discussion about addiction and family. I actually really enjoyed this book. I just don't feel like picking it up again. Okay, so now we're going to get into the pile of books that I have read or tried and DNF'd and I felt very, very blah about. Very, very blah might be a little strong for some of these books, but they were definitely flat at best. First, we have the first book in the Fallen Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. I found that this book didn't really stand out from any of its fellow fantasy first book in a series books. So so I am going to be donating this one. I also have I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I just didn't find this one very intriguing after maybe 25 to 30%. This book unfortunately is like that X that just keeps coming back and coming back and you just keep giving them chances and they never live up to your standards. This book is The Passenger by Lisa Lutz. I think I made it through 70% of this book and I was like something's gonna happen. It's gonna get better. The writing's gonna be better. I kept giving it chances and it just never got better. 
I also have either a series or a duology. This one wasn't actually that bad. I think I just wasn't in the mood for it and I don't think I will be in the mood for it anytime soon. And we have Mind Games and Perfect Lies by Kirsten White. This next one I'm really sad about that I didn't like because the cover is just gorgeous and I just really like the feel of this book in my hands. The font is really great. I love the paper quality but I didn't love the inside all that much. And this is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This is, I think, the first book in a series or a companion series, something like that. The next book is Shades of Milk and Honey by Mary Robinette Kowal. I think that this one, I just didn't like the writing, so I didn't want to continue. We also have The Dinner by Herman Coach. I don't remember why this one was flat for me, but I just remember not loving it all that much. This next book was sent to me unsolicited. Um, I just don't really feel like ever picking it up, although it is very pretty. Um, this is The Versions of Us by Laura Barnett. Also have Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. This is not one that I particularly disliked. Again, just don't want to pick it up again. I'm also on Hauling a Small Indiscretion by Jan Ellison. I actually didn't mind this one either. It's more like a case study of a woman. We see where she is in the present and then we follow her back into the past. There's some discussion about art and and really having a tie to the city that you live in. Didn't mind this one at all, just not gonna pick it up again. I also ordered these two books from Thrift Books when they were having like a huge sale. I think it was like buy three, get three free or something like that with their sales stuff. So I think that each of these books cost me somewhere like 75 cents, something like that. Um, but they came in editions that I either wasn't expecting or I didn't look carefully enough or something, but I don't like, they're hardcovers and they're huge and heavy, which I don't enjoy. Um, this is Tana French's the likeness and then Tana French's Broken Harbor and as you can see they are not twins they're they don't match they're not that's not it I have the paperbacks of these and I prefer paperbacks to hardbacks and I just I don't want them this book I've never read but I don't think I'll be getting to it anytime soon so I'm going to pass it on this is this song will save your life by Layla or Lila sales these next books <laughs> um, so I have a copy of Divergent which I didn't mind when I read, but I haven't read this since like 2011 or 2012 when it very first came out, so I might have some very different thoughts about it now. But then we have Insurgent, and I did not like Insurgent. I don't think I made it through Insurgent. But to make matters worse, it's the movie edition. So we're getting rid of that. And next we have Marrow Island by Alexis M. Smith. I think this is a case of the right book at the wrong time. When I was reading it, I thought that the writing was very beautiful. It's kind of a nature-y type book, similar to kind of in the vein of H is for Hawk by Helen McDonald. If you guys saw my Spookathon slash Autumn Readathon TBR, it's kind of like a nature-y book where there is a woman and she's our narrator, except H is for Hawk is a memoir and this is fiction. I like the writing. I think the book is really beautiful. I just put it down and I don't think that I will be in the mood for it again. This is the book that I gave four stars and I loved it a lot. I recommend it to people all the time. This is the one that I paid for in my book of the month, but I also got another one in another box and that one has author's notes and author's annotations, which I think is so special. So I, I am keeping that one. I think it's on my shelf somewhere over there, um, but I am donating this one. And this is The Mothers by Britt Bennett. This talks about an African-American girl who gets pregnant. It goes through her family and her family's reactions to it. And it has kind of a Greek choir narrator type of deal and where at the beginning of every chapter, there is a church group called The Mothers. Well, there's a group of mothers at the girl's church and they kind of narrate and act as like like the overseers of the story. I, th I thought it was a really awesome book. I also kind of listened to it on audio in tandem with reading this hard copy and I enjoyed, enjoyed both of them just the same. So if you want a good book, definitely pick this one up. We are on to the next pile. So the next pile is books that I think I purchased all of these for extremely inexpensive and they've just been sitting on my shelf. I don't have any interest in them anymore. I honestly don't even know what the good majority of these are about, sorry, um, but I will show you guys them anyways. I have Polaris by Mindy Arnett. This is a sequel to Avalon. I don't know what Avalon is and I don't know where I got this book. I also have Far, Far Away from Tom McNeil. I know that I got this book from for 75 cents on some website. It also has this plastic jacket on it. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't think I'll be picking this one up. I also have a series. I think I got each of these for 75 cents in the same box as that Tom McNeil book. This is a series by Tara Connolly. There's Iron Skin, Copperhead, and Silverblind. 
I don't know what any of these are about. If you know, please let me know. But I think these have been on my shelves for a long time and I just haven't read them. This is another series that I think I tried the first one, but I just never continued. Um, this is Kinslayer, Storm Dancer, and End Singer by Jay Kristoff. I'm also unhauling If You Left by Ashley Prentice Norton. This was sent to me unsolicited. And then we have Sisters of Heart and Snow. This is a book that I've been wanting to be in the mood for forever. I'm just never in the mood for it and I can't justify picking it up for whatever reason, so I think that's a sign that it needs to be unhauled. This is another really inexpensive thrift books pick. This is The Year of the Gadfly by Jennifer Miller? Pillar? No, uh, something. And then we have a box set that I got for Christmas. I read the first one and disliked it, so I'm obviously not going to continue. This is this set by Kira Cass. I don't know what it's called, sorry. More inexpensive books that I picked up. This is Where I Left You by Jonathan Tropper. Skippy Dies by Paul Murray. This weighs like 10 pounds. The Actress by Amy Sohn. And then The Truth About the Harry Quibert Affair by Joel Dicker. I, I don't know. These ones were also all 50 cents at a library book sale, so I'll just show them to you guys. This is Lead Me Not by A. Meredith Walters. Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. The Edge of Always by J.A. Rudmerski. I read another series by this author that I really enjoyed, but I don't think I'm going to get into this one. Then we have My Kind of Crazy by Robin Rule. The Pocket Wife by Susan Crawford. I actually read this one. This one is kind of just your standard domestic thriller. Nothing great, but nothing terrible either. And then Weirdo by Kathy Unsworth. Okay, so I'm really tired. I'm like out of breath. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys about the books that I did not enjoy and the reasons why I did not enjoy them and therefore obviously I would not keep them because I didn't enjoy them. The first book is How to Love by Katie Katugno. This is a book that I talked about in my September wrap up. I will leave the card up there if you want to hear a little bit more. But basically I got to a point in this book where I wasn't very interested in it, number one. And number two, let me set the scene for you. So there are two people making out against a wall. One of them is a dude that our protagonist likes. Our protagonist is sitting in a car with her other friend. Her friend makes a joke about terrorism. Her friend then goes, oh, are you one of those people that are really sensitive about jokes about terrorism? And already at that point, I was like, this is gross. And then our protagonist goes, no, I'm not sensitive about jokes about terrorism. I'm just sensitive about other stuff, like seeing this dude that I like make out with this girl. Like, no, gross. And then I put it down. This one I'm extremely sad about that I didn't like, but I couldn't make it past page 70. This is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. And I know that this is a ton of people's favorite books and I really, really tried, but I think the problem that I had with this was that I just didn't like the writing style. In There was a span of like 10 to 12 pages or something. And on every single page, there was someone grinning. Like he grinned, he grinned mischievously. She was grinning. I looked on Goodreads to see if there were any reviews that mentioned this or if I was just making things up and there was literally a one star review that just said too much grinning so I was not making things up. I just really couldn't make it past like page 70. Sorry guys. The next book is an ARC that I received. This is a book that I will be donating to a place that will not resell books for sure. This is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. Oi, I have a lot, I have a lot of feelings about this book and none of them were good. A lot of them were disappointment and repetition. Repetition is not a feeling, but when I was reading this book, repetition was definitely a feeling. I don't want to get into this, so I will leave again in the card the video where I review this book. Finally, I have a book that was sent to me unsolicited, but the reason why I didn't pick it up is not because I wasn't interested in it, but because I saw my friend Roxanne from The Novel Sanctuary. This was her least favorite book of 2016, and when she discussed it, this is, by the way, A Fierce and Subtle Poison by Samantha Mabry. This is a book that talks about, supposedly, we have a protagonist. He is a Caucasian male and he is telling you the story of Puerto Rican myths and legends. I think that in itself is a little bit problematic. However, when Roxanne talked about it, she said that the way that it described Puerto Rico was extremely touristy. It did not get very nuanced or complex and it kind of really watered down and cheapened all of her experiences having that in her ethnicity and her background. This is a book that was hurtful to my friend. So because 
I care about my friend, I will not be reading this book. Of course, obviously, in the book community, we have this discussion all the time. We are each our own person with our own agency. So if you would like to pick up a book, please go right ahead. But I would not like hang out with a person that hurt my friend in the same way that I would not read a book in this case that has hurt my friend. So that is the end of my unhaul. That is a lot of books. There's just a massive like pile of books on my floor. I'm knee deep in books that I want to unhaul. I guess that's not such a terrible situation. But anyways, this is my first unhaul. I feel like I was just like giving you guys book names without much substance and I hate that, but I'm gonna post it anyway. I will have a couple of hauls coming very soon on my channel because that, again, like I mentioned, is one of the reasons why I am unhauling so many books. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.